everyone welcome to another video at dress my crafts youtube channel uh, this is tejal here again today and today i'm bringing you part two of the bone folder uh, video so the last time i spoke to you i showed you these four bone folders and i told you a couple were missing so i have the missing bone folders with me and i have a little extra surprise at the end so keep watching so let me show you which ones I have right now with me. This is the number one bone folder and this is the ergo or ergonomic bone folder as we call it. So here we go. So this is it. So as I mentioned last time, each bone folder if you buy them individually will come in these uh, Ziploc kind of bags and you can you know uh, attach all of them together for safekeeping like you know you don't lose them so you get these just pop out the things and you just get a binder ring and that's it they're not going anywhere so you have all of them in one place Alright, so this is how you can save them, store them, especially when you're traveling. So, also let me show you the differences between the others that I wanted to show you. Mm, this is the three, this is the four. These we've talked about. I wanted to show you mainly the difference between one and two. So, here we go. As I said, the two number two bone folder is slightly smaller than the number one here you can see the difference this is number one this is longer and a bit wider than the number two but both of them do the same function same uh, every purpose is same except the you know the grip is different so depending what kind of a grip you like if you like a fatter grip you can take one if you like a delicate grip number two is there for you of course and as i said if you are a card maker you can pick any one out of these this will work for your purpose absolutely fine you can buy all of them no issues for card makers one and two are the best for scrapbookers for people who make tons and tons and tons of albums this is my best recommendation i love the ergo simply because it fits into the palm of your hand see that and then you get that motion you do that with your elbow not your finger i shall show you what why I say this is better for a scrapbooker than this one. Imagine you're holding this and creasing and scoring page after page after page. And suppose you have 20, 30 flaps, 20, 30 pages you're doing if you're making multiple albums. There is going to be a repetitive strain on your fingers and on your joints. This does not happen with the ergo simply because it just you can see that it fits into the palm of your hand so there is no strain over here you're not straining your wrist you are creasing and scoring and you know uh, removing the air bubbles pockets whatever you do you have a longer edge you have a nicer grip and the movement is at your elbow not at your wrist not at your joint so all your joints are spared let me show you what i mean by that now here comes the wonderful other tool that i'm about to talk oopsie needs to zoom out okay i think you can see that so this is another fabulous thing that shalini sent to me it's just just too cute it's very compact so it's this tiny so you can just put it in your purse and go for your crops 
isn't that lovely all right so the thing different about this one compared to other ones let me see if this can focus okay so here you can see there are measurements at this side there are measurements here now these two sides have it in inches now okay here and here okay it's not focusing but these two sides have in centimeters so if you're a person who works in centimeters you have these two corners for your centimeter if you're a person who loves working in inches you have these two corners then you have this tool that stays here you you cannot lose it stick it up there then it has two corners this is fantastic for scoring purposes this you use for your creasing purposes of course you can use this for your creasing purpose uh, scoring as well i'm sorry but this is this is this pointed end is fantastic for your scoring purposes and it's nice enough to fit in the palm of your hand so now let's talk about why i like this over the other tools for your scrapbook making for your card making this one is perfect so i have this piece of paper i'm making an album so i thought i might as well score them while on video so here we go i am scoring them at half an inch okay so there we go half an inch half an inch half an inch the light is too much so i'll just quickly score all of them at half an inch now you can use this also for your scoring let me show you how now the only difference between this and this is you will get a thinner and a fatter line um here you can see you got a little thicker score line here you have a fine score line okay so depending on what kind of uh, score lines you want you can use either of it as i said you can use this end also here also you get a nice thin line and my last piece okay whoopsie there we go so now say i have these six pieces to score and fold now every time i use this i'm putting strain on my index finger so when i'm making albums i completely put aside the smaller ones this that's it you see that absolutely no strain whatsoever when you're using this so if you are a scrapbook maker who makes tons of i would say blindly go for this take this for when you have just your uh sorry about the shaking uh take this when you have just your cards or small projects or if you do just uh smaller scrapbooks but as i mentioned that these are so cost effective these are so economical these are so budget friendly that you can get all six for the price of the one if you buy from the other companies so here are all the six that you have six of them so let me just show you what they are this is the number one number two this is the three this is the four the absolute flat one the lifter this is your pencil bone folder and this is your ergonomic bone folder okay so i'm sure your next order will be of bone folders
is your scoring part now when you turn it around it has an envelope maker now, I could never figure this out how to use this also there is an um, paper chart for making your envelopes you have it in inches as well as in centimeters here you have it in centimeters here you have it in inches so the first one let me just zoom in okay so the first part this is the size of the card that you have made the second is the size of the paper you need to make the envelope and this is the scale mark from where you have to start scoring now this the marks are over here here again in centimeters for this chart this chart here it's in centimeters and here it is in inches for the above chart let's zoom out okay so it took me a while to figure out so I thought I'd just show you quickly show you how to uh, do this on camera so I'm going to be doing for the A2 card size which is four and a quarter by five and a half now for that you need a four and a quarter here it is okay so you need a paper size of eight by eight and your score mark is three and a half my first problem this is the edge where you're supposed to line up your paper I started going this way three and a half from here and then I tried this side and I tried everything finally I I saw the instructions which is the last thing I did so let me show you how you do it whenever you read the scale mark the line where you're supposed to score from take it from the top down so here it is three and a half here okay so align your paper there is a small notch over here from where you have to start scoring make sure it is straight use your scoring tool okay so we have your first score line now if you can see there is another line over here your previous score line will line up with this you can see that these two once you've lined this up then you forget the measurements just keep on scoring turn around Again, line up. Again, score. And the last turn. Okay. Now, what you are left with is, is this triangles at every corner so what do you do you just cut them off so we have the beginnings of an envelope so all you need to do is just score them my favorite tool again score and you just glue these two ends and you have your envelope ready and since I used a very thick paper, I will have to use score tape for it. So there you have perfect envelope for your A2 cards. Okay, so that was probably the shortest video I've ever made.
but as I said all of the things that I showed in my previous video can be done with the ergo you can burnish your tapes it's fantastic for that you can burnish out your glue when you apply it to chipboard or under your pattern paper and also you can um, of course for your scoring needs yes but for the ribbon part you need these flat ones because it needs a nice edge if you're twirling your ribbons but other than that this is my go-to for everything scrapbooking and these are my go-to for everything card making so I hope a short video but it has cleared your doubts about this ergo since I had got a lot of questions about it and that's why I decided to make a second one so hopefully this has helped you and I shall see you soon with another video happy crafting bye